What's going on? Lambardi Gaming here, and welcome to Detective Jane Case 1. Now, I don't know what it is, but you guys are looking extremely beautiful right now. It's like, it's kind of having an effect on me. Anyway, all that aside, I tried recording this once. As you can see, I already have a case here. But, apparently my recording software did not catch any of that. So... I gotta go back in here and do this again. Yay me! But anyway, I have fun, I have fun doing this, so this isn't gonna be that much of a problem. Wait, what are you doing? Ah, my leg! Now, this makes me think of SpongeBob automatically because every time you hear my leg. I don't care who you are, if you've seen Spongebob, that is all you think about is Spongebob. That's all they say. My leg! My leg! Every time. I'm calling the cops. No. Wait. Ah! Y'all like my scream right there, y'all know. Don't, don't be hating. Don't be hating. Y'all know y'all like my scream. Damn. The line has been cut. I'm sorry, Victor, but I needed to finish these loose ends. But why? I didn't call the cops on you. Why would you want to do this? Because I know you were going to hand me in, Victor. Everyone knows how you are. Shot right to the back of the head. Bop, 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 bop. Detective Jane, 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 Jane. Case one. Oh, they're not gonna say case one. So if you guys, if you guys look at my, oh wow, wow, what a commotion! If you guys look at my channel, you guys will see that there's nothing but Xbox videos. You see Gears of War, GTA, but mainly Gears of War. <laughs> Maybe a Call of Duty video or two, but I, I have a love for computer games that I've never shown anybody, and I, I would actually like to start recording and and showing you guys these computer games that I see that I like playing and everything, and I just want you guys to also just have fun like I do with these games, and I see all my favorite YouTubers like Markiplier and DashyXP and Jacksepticeye, Smosh, all these, all, all these different channels that I always watch play these games and I always thought well I want to do that I, I always wanted to do that to play games and have fun and just share it with the world so here's that's what I'm doing right now glad you can make it Jane every other detective has their hands full down over the abandoned shop the doll head murderer strikes again down there anytime like oh my god guys anytime fill me in Darren what do we have all right let me stop Victor, a multimillionaire, was murdered in his own home. We have six suspects, five in custody. As always, no one is admitting the crime. Well, no one would commit. <laughs> well, no one will just admit committing murder. Any lead suspect? Clues? Anything I should know about beforehand? Well, I'd say ask the chief yourself. It looks it looks like he's here first and probably knows more than I can tell you right now. Well, I'm back on the job. You go, girl. You go, girl. You're back on the job. You go, girl. You go. This music, though, would be making me think about them old clubs. Where you'd be up in there, and people would be passing out. And then I think of Terry Crews with, like, those, those glow sticks dancing without a shirt on. Yo, I am so... Watching white chicks after saying that now. Oh no, not these two. By the way, if you guys have not seen white chicks, you guys have got to see that. That is like one of the funniest movies I've seen in a while. Good morning to you too, Chief of Department. Seems like you got started early and missed the coffee. Put a sock in it, Darren. And this is why. And why is this snorter in here? I thought I made it clear I do not want her in any of my crime scenes. The chief looks like a tool. Look at his haircut. 
He looks like that guy from You Got Served. Besides, she's not from the Homicide Department. At least not anymore. Well, that's all you're getting for this case. And every other homicide detective has been assigned to the Dollhead Murderer case. Jane has been assigned to this case as a trial case. She's all you have available right now. Ugh! Fine. The body is in the living room along with the murder weapon. The person to call it in was Carla, the victim's daughter. She was the first one on the scene after the event, she says. Also, one of the suspects was found dead in the victim's car just down the street. Dead in the victim's car? Sounds like a robbery gone wrong. He had no cash on him. He was found with his left leg barely hanging from his body. Yo, that sounds like some mob stuff right there. Like, seriously. The cut was too clean, so some sort of knife did the trick. Is the suspect a relative of the victim, or was there a connection between him and the victim? I doubt it. He was Paul Emmett, a gang member. He has a record for armed robberies, drug possession, and domestic abuse. Plus drug trafficking. Sounds like he could have been the one to commit the murder. I said the same thing since the murder weapon is registered under his name. But we're gonna But we're here to clear that up and get a verdict from the judge. So technically, we're here to clear up that Emmett committed the crime and not waste another second here. Plus the judge only gave us 15 minutes to inspect and investigate the area to find clues that can confirm that Paul did it. 15 minutes? That barely gives us any time to inspect and investigate the area. Like I said, we're not here to waste any more time. We're here to clean up and clear up that Emmett did it and both oh, Mike blah, blah. Clear up that Emmett did it and that's that. So if you don't mind, go do your jobs and step aside. I have to get the judge an update on things and get the car ready for the forensics team. I'll tell them that their old co-worker is back on the job and to investigate the evidence deep enough to find your fingerprints with drug residue. That is such a run-on sentence. If you are here to get me fired, I don't think you'll succeed. I'm clean. There's a saying down at the precinct. Criminals won't just confess or admit to a crime. Just like a druggie won't admit to taking drugs. Hey! Back off! Just do your jobs and don't mess this up. I'd say I'm counting on you guys, but I'm not. Report back to the precinct after 15 minutes. Guy's such a tool! Look at his you got served haircut! Well, that went swell. So... Any tips? It's been a while since I've done this. Well, just the usual. When you collect evidence, always be thorough and inspect it from your inventory. There's a lot of clues in there that you can use later on when you're clearing up doubts and see through lies to get to the truth. And since we don't have a lot of time, use the sprint button to, ro to run rather than walk. We need to hurry so we can get the evidence to the precinct. Alright, I think I can go and start inspecting the area. I'll be back in a bit. Jane, listen. What is it? Don't let the whole snorter thing get to you. Alright? Thanks, Darren. Alright, let's go ahead and start exploring. I already know what's going to be said since I played this one time around and I didn't get it. So here's the, here's the body. He got real jacked up right here. There is a gunshot wound in his head. Possibly died instantly. No wounds anywhere else or cuts in the knuckles, no signs of struggle. Although the body is somewhat far from the original spot. There's almost no blood here, so someone moved him. The murder weapon. From reports given to me earlier, this gun is registered to Paul Emmett. Why would he leave his gun here, though? Alright. So we're gonna go exploring. Hey. Hey, you there! Hey! You found anything, officer? Well, we found some security cameras that Paul Emmett used to lurk around the area as soon as the victim got home every day. There's also a few reports of Paul threatening the victim, saying that he needs to give her stuff back to the rightful owner before it gets ugly. Thanks, officer! <laughs> I'm being silly right now. And I remember there was some in here. The wood looks fresh, and it looks like there's something being burned here. An axe. Oh yeah, that's right. Why would there be an axe burning here? 
So go ahead and grab that. Ah, move, sir, sir, please. All right, so that's everything up here. But yeah, I've been, I've been wanting to do this for a pretty long time. And uh, anything that you guys want to see, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Tell me what games you want to see. If you want me to keep playing this, um, anything at all, I do not care. Go ahead and send me suggestions, and I will try to get them in there. I just love playing video games, and to get to do it and share it with people of the world, it's just, it's just an amazing thought to me. There are books here. Seems like there's an envelope here. It has an FBI stamp. Looks like a record of domestic violence. Violence against Christiana? His servant? Probable motive. Alright, well, let's go talk to this guy here. Found anything, officer? We found his will. It says that after his death, his daughter only gets his daughter gets his fortune, which is a whopping 100 million. So what does that mean? A few months ago, Victor was in the hospital because he had cancer. He fought it, but he was still in life support due to complications. That's all I've got. Thanks, officer. So I say that that chick did it. I know she did. She was like, oh. My daddy rich, and when he die, I'm gonna get this hundred mil. And she trying to buy all kinds of shoes and purses and all that. She was just having all that just flash through her mind, and she just decided to shoot the dude in the back of the head. Smells like bleach here, but the trail stops here. So, I think whoever was here bleached the blood of his or her feet to leave undetected. There's also a bit of purple hair stuck in the drain and parts in the tub. Taking notes. Let's see. There's a bloody towel here. It reeks of cocaine. I know that smell anywhere. It must take note to this. Which is also, if you guys didn't catch that, is a reference to her being a quote-unquote snorter. Uh, which I still think that tool from you guys, sir, should have never said. But oh well, he's a, he's a tool. That's what tools do. Hate is gonna hate, bro. That's what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, I forgot about this room. Yeah, somebody got all jacked up right here. What is that? What is what is that? I don't think I looked at this room before. Seems like everything started here. There's blood everywhere. God, the smell. Can't tolerate it for long. Going to take note of this fast. What's this? These are all emails and print copies. There are emails dating two weeks back. They spelled two wrong. Oh, well. Some sim ugh. some from the floor, some from his daughter, some from his servants. I should take notes of these. All right, is there anything here? Is there any what is this? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. This music though is a lot more intense than it should be. Hey, what's good, milk bag? What's good, milk bag? What's good? Hey, look at the suit real quick. Look, look how fresh she is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of shoes she got? She got them. She got them. Look, she looked like she got the the skirt on with the the Daisy Duke skirt on. By the way, you can see how much leg she's showing off. And then she got the shirt and tie with the Yoshi balling right now. All right, let's keep going. Yo, whoever did this, yo, put in so much effort. I love this. The hey, hey, mustache, where you going? You found anything, officer? <laughs> the victim and one of his servants, Paul Post Handel, had previous conflicts in the past, in which the victim threatened to harm Pace's family. We also found out that Pace recently moved his family to a city outside the state. This was also Pace's last day working here. Thanks, officer. I don't know, that's how I vision him talking. Let's see, I do remember there's something in here. It looks like a meal that was recently cooked. Wait a minute, there's a flask inside the soup. It has the death symbol. It smells quite foul, too. No doubt someone wanted Victor dead. Okay, what I don't get is, how does that prove that they wanted Victor dead when Victor's on the floor with a giant hole in his head? 
there's a blood there's blood in front of this fridge how did a bloody knife uh, there's a bloody knife inside how did this get here and who puts a knife in the refrigerator that's just dumb if you're gonna be a criminal don't be stupid I am NOT condoning being a criminal guys I don't want one of y'all to go rob a house and then be like oh man Barty Gaiman said it was cool to do it don't no no yeah I'm not about to do that the heck I can't move past the spot this is where the trail ends it probably Paul's blood considering that they found him in the victim's car which is missing from this garage what's this oh you can't touch any of that them skid marks though alright let me talk to let me talk to milk dud number two anything of interest officer well, there is a huge amount of receipts that the victim had purchased is made in a flower shop just down the street. And you find this odd? Quite odd, actually. We even checked his cell phone for any previous calls. There were many phone calls from the florist herself. 45 calls this week. I'm not sure about you, but I wouldn't get that many calls from any clerk unless it was important. Thanks, officer. And let me see these skid marks, though. Let me see. Can I say anything about the skid marks? No? Nothing about skid marks. That doesn't... That... So skid marks at a crime scene does not strike any type of... Any type of questions whatsoever. Okay. Time to go see Milk Dud number one. We done up in here, man. Oh! Don't judge my random noises. Check the pistol first in the living room. After that, you can talk to me and head to the office. I've already done that. Found enough evidence? Yes, I have. All right. Let's head out to the office. Wow, there's a lot of clues that we found in the scene. Nice going, Jane. So what now? Well, chances are you probably didn't have time or a chance a chance or thought about reviewing the evidence while in the crime scene. So my new guest would be inspecting the evidence and then start the interrogation. Makes sense. Do me a favor, please. Get Carla to the inter interrogation room while I get myself ready here reviewing the evidence and its clues. I was going to talk to you about Carla, actually. Hmm? What about? It seems that Carla actually has a record. The crime? An attempted murder. What? Who is she targeting? Her father. Dang. Get her to the interrogation room ASAP. You got it. You can use the escape button to access your inventory and review the evidence. Evidence will have more clues to help you uncover more clues and help you make the final decision to accuse someone of murder. You can also request another chance at the crime scene if you feel that evidence has been left out by using papers in the desk. However, there's one problem using this method. You can only revisit the scene once. Plus, the judge will give you less time than the first time to wrap up and get all the evidence you can find. Also, some clues will be gone, so make sure you get them first. You can also save your progress by using the open book near the entrance. Is it me? Alright, it looks like it's me. Alright, guys. I'm going to end the episode right here. As you can see, that's my original save right there. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. You guys have been great. Stay your beautiful selves, please. And, uh, yeah, leave, leave things in the comments of what you want me to play, uh, any suggestions, any tips if you guys have played this before, anything in the comment section would be extremely helpful, and any feedback is also welcomed as well. So, yeah, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, share with your friends, and, um, let me know if you guys want to keep, if you want, if you guys want to see me keep playing this, 
and any other games that you may suggest, like I said before, go ahead. You're free to do it. Anyway, this is Lambardi Gaming here, and I will see you later. Peace.